A well, safety alert tonight. A report released this week found pedestrian deaths went up during the pandemic despite fewer people driving. Alabama ranked 11th deadliest in the nation. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey joins us now. Andrea, a report by Smart Growth America revealed 18 people a day were struck and killed in 2020 while walking on streets across the country. That's right, Kim, up almost 5% from the year before. The advocacy organization says several factors are behind the alarming trend and believe governments could do more to improve pedestrian safety so fewer lives are lost. Bruce Malone's love for his late wife is visible from their front yard. Vivian Dennis was killed in a hit and run on Spring Hill Avenue as she tried to cross the road to get back home in 2015. He did this. How do you sleep at night? Smart Growth America's Dangerous by Design report released this week found black pedestrians are twice as likely to be hit and killed. Black Americans are, are more likely to be uh, not driving, more likely to be walking, biking, uh, relying on transit to get around. Uh, but also, if you look around in a lot of communities, the infrastructure in uh, these places sorely lacking. The report also found that Alabama had the 11th highest death rate of pedestrians in the country. 567 pedestrians were killed statewide between 2016 and 2020. In Mobile, according to police, the death rate stayed flat for several years, but more than doubled last year, from six pedestrian fatalities in 2020 to 13 in 2021. So far this year, there have been three deaths. They've just been on, a, on an astonishing rise for uh, 12, 13 years now. Smart Growth America says one of the biggest reasons why is road design. More of our travel happens on the things that we've built in the last um, you know, 10, 15, 20 years wide lanes, straight roads, few crosswalks, you know, signals as infrequently as possible. Um, I, I think that's one reason why um, we, we have made speed our top priority on most of the new roads that we build. New Mexico had the highest pedestrian fatality rate, followed by Florida. We will put a link to this report, which includes examples of road design recommendations on our website, mindbc15.com.